Good morning, church. Pastor Linda from Bethel Thedford here. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad today. And today is the first day of October, and it's Thursday. It's 11-12 in the morning. We need to remember at all times that God is good, and God protects us, and he knows who trusts us, or who trusts him. Philippians 4, 6, and 7 says, Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all that He has done. Then you'll experience God's peace, which exceeds everything that you could ever understand. His peace will guard your hearts and your minds as you live in Christ Jesus. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, You created all things, and through You all things were created. We thank You, Lord, for the love that you give to each and every one of us. We thank you, Lord, for creating us, for creating mankind. We are created for a purpose, and our main purpose is to love and to obey you. We ask, Lord, that you be with us each and every day. Keep us strong, keep us healthy. In Jesus' name, amen. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your strength, and with all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. In order to love people, you have to love God first, and you have to have God in your heart. The weather network today, it says it's 13 degrees out right now, and the high is going to be 15. There is a chance of thunderstorms later in the day. Um, for this afternoon, it's 40% chance. Tonight, it's up to 70% chance. The low tonight is going to be 7 degrees. Proverbs, Proverbs 3, 5 and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your paths. That goes back to trusting God. Have faith in God. And he'll direct you in what you should be doing and how you should be doing it. Lampton Shores. The uh, confirmed cases remain at 346. Deaths are still at 25. Confirmed cases is up one. It's at 319. So the active cases in Sarnia Lambton is down to two. Praise the Lord. Ontario report, 52,248. That's an increase of 538. Remember the days when it was less than 100 a day? The deaths are up to 2,851. Confirmed cases recovered. 44,422. The number of people hospitalized is up again today, and it's at 162. There's 36 in the ICU, or intensive care unit, and there's 17 on the ventilator. The active cases across Ontario is up to 4,975. To get through this second wave safely and effectively, we must follow the acceptable hand hygiene practice, use soap and water where po possible, and alcohol-based sanitizer when it's not possible. Sneeze or cough into your elbow or Kleenex. Social distance, two meters, which is equivalent to six feet, six inches. Wear a face mask or protective covering if you cannot social distance. Get your flu shot when it becomes available. Social gathering sizes, remember, have been reduced. It's back down to 10 people inside and a maximum of 25 people outside. Everyone is better prepared for the second wave than when the virus first appeared. So we need to be diligent in all that we do. And parents, pay attention to what your kids are doing. And everybody, be aware that if you're in contact or think you're in contact with a virus, don't go visiting family, especially the elderly. Canada report. They confirmed cases, 158,758. That's up 1,797. The deaths related to COVID is 9,297. The active cases across Canada is 14,490. In the U.S., there was an additional 40,929 cases. 
deaths are up to 211,740. So the active cases across the USA is uh, 2,535,836. Across the world, there was 313,858 new cases. Deaths are up to 18,218. The active cases across the world is 7.7 .7 million. We've got to uh, take one step at a time. Think before you act. It doesn't take much to catch it. Um, even students in school or elementary schools are being sent for testing because uh, they're showing some symptoms. Fortunately, the ones from around here that it's um, general conditions like asthma or basic colds but we need to watch because in other areas it is the virus. Our reading today, Genesis 5, starting at verse 1. This is the family history of Adam. When God created human beings, he made them in his own likeness. He created them male and female, and on that day he blessed them and named them human beings. When Adam was 130 years old, he became the father of another son in his likeness and image, and Adam named him Seth. After Seth was born, Adam lived 800 years and had other sons and daughters. So Adam lived a total of 930 years, and then he died. When Seth was 105 years old, he had a son named Enosh. After Enosh was born, Seth lived 807 years and had other sons and daughters. So Seth lived a total of 912 years, then he died. When Enosh was 90 years old, he had a son named Kenan. After Kenan was born, Enosh lived 815 years and had other sons and daughters. So Enosh lived a total of 905 years, and then he died. When Kenan was 70 years old, he had a son named Maholalal. After Maholalal was born, Kenan lived 840 years and had other sons and daughters. So Kenan lived a total of 910 years, and then he died. Praise God. Can you imagine living that long? Well, you know, if sin hadn't taken over the world, life expectancy would be a lot longer than it is. As it is, um, it's not unheard of for people to live to be 100 plus and still have good active lives. But with this virus, we got to watch it. 1 Timothy 2, verses 1 to 6. I urge you, first of all, to pray for all people. Ask God to help them, intercede on their behalf, and give thanks for them. Pray this way for kings and all who are in authority, so that we can live peaceful and quiet lives, marked by godliness and dignity. This is good and pleases God our Savior, who wants everyone to be saved and to understand the truth. For there is one God and one mediator who can reconcile God and humanity, the man Christ Jesus. He gave his life to purchase freedom for everyone. Thank you, Lord, for your word. Let's pray. Father, we ask that you direct our paths today and every day. Show us what it is that you want us to do. Open the eyes of our hearts, Lord, so we can see where the need is. Give us the boldness that we need to step forward and be your hands and feet. We pray, Lord, that you bless our leaders, no matter what uh, area of government they're in, they need you, Lord. They need you as much as we do, if not more, because uh, what they say affects thousands and millions of people. So we ask, Lord, that you pay special attention to them and give them advice that they need. I know they work through their own advisors, and we ask that you be with them as well. But, you know, the common people need to have uh, you with them, too, because we need to be able to use common sense. We need to uh, be able to follow the direction that's given. And above all, we need to follow you and to put our trust, our faith in you, Lord. 
And to do that, we need the power of the Holy Spirit to be in us because we cannot do any of this on our own. I pray, Lord, that you put your hedge of protection around all of the children in schools, in daycare centers, in post-secondary schools. Be with them all, Lord. Protect them all. Protect them from this uh, virus, the COVID virus, and then the flu that's uh, coming in now, too. And, of course, we've got all of the allergies and other basic fall uh, maladies that uh, come in and cause problems. It's that time of the year, Lord, and we count on you more and more. Help us to count on you every day and to trust you every day. Increase our faith, Lord. Be with us, each and every one of us. Help us to reach out in your name. Help us to proclaim your word. Help us to be bold and be courageous as you've directed so many times. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Ephesians 4.3 says, You are joined together with peace through the Spirit, so make every effort to continue together in this way. We know that we can rely on the word of God, and we know where to find that word. But we have to dedicate time to be spending in that word. The word of God is life, and it changes lives. Isaiah 41.10 says, Don't worry, because I am with you. Don't be afraid, because I am your God. I will make you strong and help you. I will support you with my right hand that saves you. Hold each other up in prayer. Prayer is one of the most valuable tools that you have, and it's the, one of the most effective tools that you have. And God hears your prayers, and he answers them. Treat everyone with love, compassion, understanding. Treat them with respect. Doesn't matter who they are. You need to respect them, and you need to be kind. And whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. That's 1 Corinthians 10, 31. It's biblical, so follow it. And realize you can't do it on your own strength. You need the power of the Lord. You need the Holy Spirit. And you need the Holy Spirit in you. God bless each and every one of you. And may God be with you until we meet again. <laughs>